shirt. All right. Out of the closet. They're gonna eat my closet. Yeah. My sisters helped me set up an online dating profile a while ago, but I realized online dating wasn't for me, so my mom suggested that I give matchmaking a shot. Okay, where are you going? Bowling? After talking with the matchmaker, she found some great date options, so I'm meeting one of them tonight. No. Yes. No. 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 This is taking a while. I have never been on a blind date. I have a bunch of worries going into a blind date because I worry about my date's reaction to my size because a lot of people don't understand how short three foot 10 is. A lot of people are like, oh, well, you're, you're like right up to my shoulders. I'm like, no, I'm up to your groin. Like that is the scary part because you're not only gonna see the reaction to your height, you're gonna see the reaction to other people reacting to your height too. Boots? No. Why is nothing I pick good enough? I like those ones. You made me wear these? Yeah, you're gonna Just be tall. to take them off to pull? Maybe it's tall. As I'm getting ready, I am anxious. It's just weird with my family being super, super involved in it. That tracker box. Oh, yeah. We gotta do it. Sure. Gabby the matchmaker sent me a first date package, which is a couple items to help you feel ease on the first date. This <laughs> is... The scent. The scent. The pumpkin lavender. Scientifically best scent for attraction. Scientifically? Yeah, scientifically. Let's smell this. There were five items in the box that Gabby gave me. One was a book. It's about spirituality and finding like mental love and all this stuff. And then one was the most attractive scent in the world, which is a mixture of pumpkin and lavender. It's not that great. <laughs> I don't know if I want to wear it because of the pumpkin. She says you got it, you got it. <laughs> Pull more out. Fine, I'm just putting it on my wrist because he's not going to touch anything more than my hand. I don't think that's what that's for. I would not consider pumpkin to be a, an arousing scent. Sounds like you were set up to fail. Goodness, <laughs> she made you stanky. <laughs> Spray this on and you'll never get a guy. <laughs> oh my god, it's so strong! Why does it smell like new book? No, my wrist! Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I like it so. <laughs> I smell like a pumpkin spice latte. It is very uncomfortable having my sister and my stepdad drive me to a date. You right? No. You got this. Totally. It is one of the reasons that I want to start driving, just so they don't have to come along, and that way I don't have to deal with their nagging, or they're making fun of me, or even the fact that they could stalk the date. But at the end of the day, I know it's out of love, and it is comforting, but I need to learn how to drive. Here we go. I don't think if Shauna could drive, we would tag along. I'd be very tempted to find out where she's going and maybe like, oh, I'm eating here too, huh? What a surprise. <laughs> if it gets weird and you need something, call me and I'll like say the house is on fire and stuff. You know, I'll be your out. But you know, I mean, you know that we're we're not going home. We'll be. Yeah, but if she wants an out. I was talking to Shauna. <laughs> Do you know this guy's name at least? I know nothing, but he lives in Yonkers and doesn't have a car. With Shauna specifically, it's really difficult for me to let go of a lot of things. And that might be a hindrance for her because I'm not willing to or ready to let go with such things as her probably driving a car or her moving out, dating. Um, all those moments that she should have already experienced, I'm still holding back on. So, yeah. You want to give the guy another strike? What happened? What? You canceled. Are you me? Yeah. 
while on my way to the first date, the guy got cold feet and the matchmaker had to text me that he canceled. What a uh, Wow. Now what? Does he give a reason? No. I was oh. relieved when he canceled him not having a car, not willing to come out to me, and me having to go all the way out there, and then him canceling just kind of showed all of these characteristics that I don't want in a person in my life. <laughs> you want to just go bowling anyhow? Yeah. <laughs> Riley, you want to go bowling? I like bowling. So I guess we're going bowling, because Riley likes bowling. Yeah. Just do it. Let's just do it. Let's have some fun. Okay. All right? So we're going bowling. When something like that happens, I think the best thing to do is try to make the best of a bad situation. Once the guy backed out, we kind of were like, you know, screw it, let's just go bowling anyhow. You know, screw him. Three here. Kids 13. 13? Yeah, kids. Okay. My shoe size is a kid's 13. I think it translates to like an adult two. It's extremely complicated finding shoes that fit my size and my age. Most children's shoes have some kind of cartoon character on them somehow. And if I'm perceiving my shoes as looking like childish, then other people are gonna perceive that and then they're gonna view me as a child in general. So I probably overthink the shoe thing a little too much. This is fine. <laughs> That's fine they do have kids' bowling balls. But I don't want to take those balls away from the kids that actually need them because they're, they want to bowl, because I don't care about bowling. But at the same time, I, I need at least one five-pound ball because six pounds can get too heavy, and seven pounds is just not going to happen. All right, go ahead. We're all going to suck. It's going to do great. Oh. Gutter, 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 gutter. <laughs> Three at four. Growing up, I was not athletic. I didn't play any sports. I did cheerleading. I went horseback riding via Girl Scouts. But when it comes to like actual sports sports, they're not my cup of tea. I've always been thin and frail, and I don't think my body would have done well in sports either way. Gutter ball, gutter ball. Happy? I did it, just for you! Look at with Riley. Oh, Riley! Look, look! Look! You're probably the best bowler, even though you think you suck. Oh! <laughs> Got her! I think all of us need to work out our game. <laughs> My final score was a 39. Mine was a 61. And I was a 64. Yeah, I lost by three points. Almost your age. I wonder if there's a league we could join. The worst league? So can I take off these very snippy shoes? Yes. I think we had fun. I mean, I think we made the best out of the situation. Even though it was supposed to be a date, I probably enjoyed it better this way with my family than I would with a complete stranger. I'm still open to the matchmaking situation. It really depends on if the second guy cancels. If I get another date and he cancels, then I'm probably just gonna throw all the matchmaking out the window. 